Welcome to Das Geek. Today I have something very special for you. We're going to be reviewing the Creative Labs Sound Blaster Omni External Sound Card. I've got my coffee. I'm ready to go. Hopefully you are too. Cheers. All right. So let's get down to business. What we have here is the Creative Labs Sound Blaster external entry. This runs about 79 bucks. And the big question that we want to answer today is should this replace your sound card? So, if you have an internal sound card, most of you do on your motherboard, is this worthy enough to spend the cash to go ahead and replace it? And that's the question we're going to answer. So, right off the bat, when you look at this, you've got the knobby here. I love knobbies. You can turn this. You can click this to mute. It's got an illumination right here to let you know it blinks multiple times if it's muted. Uh, if it's on, it just stays solid. So you've got some great feedback there. If you don't have volume controls and things built onto your keyboard and you're constantly switching to conference calls, trying to um, play while you're working, scared that your computer might play some video or music in the background, knowing and having a visual sensor that your computer's on mute is a wonderful thing. So that's a pretty cool feature. It also has two built-in mics. I don't think you can see them here, but I have some more video where I did some close-ups. But there's some mics here, right there and there. So two crystal mics. The sound from them is okay. Uh, I would say it's webcam quality sound, maybe a little better than what you'd get out of a good webcam, not a cheap webcam. Um, but nothing to write home about. The further you get away, your voice kind of starts fading pretty heavily. Uh, with that being said, they do have some really cool software FX effects. So you can change your voice, you can distort it, you can you know change your tones. You've got an equalizer in there, so you've got a lot of things that you can play with in their studio uh, if you want to. So you can have some fun. Definitely game quality if you're gaming with friends online uh, speakers, but not necessarily something for podcasters uh, or YouTubers. Uh, you also have a bunch of connections right here in the front. So you can connect your headphones, you can connect a mic or an external source. On the back we have RCA outputs. Um, we have both the 3.5 rear and C sub uh, connections here. We have our RCA jacks, we have optical, and this is your power. This connects directly to USB. That's what makes it external. You don't have to plug it into anything else but a USB port and you're off and running after you install the software. So if you have a laptop and you're disappointed with the sound, this would be a great tool for you uh, to utilize with your laptop. Is it better than your internal sound? Well, honestly, I didn't notice enough of a difference. I have an ASRock 990FX, which runs my AMD uh, Viscera processor, and so I have a pretty high-end motherboard, and uh, the sound on it that comes with it is a real tech sound driver. I didn't notice a difference. I also, this boasts that it has a 600 ohm amplifier built in for your headphones. You know I like fancy headphones, but I'm not an audiophile, so take this with a grain of salt. But uh, it had great sound. It pushed it much better than a phone or anything like that. But was it better than my internal sound card? If it is, it's not enough that I can hear it. Uh, with that said, I do love this because of the fact that it does add a lot of convenience to your desktop. I have a DAS keyboard, surprise, surprise, and uh, the DAS keyboard does not have, the version I have does not have a volume control on it, so this becomes pretty handy. Uh, some other things that they boast here, uh, let's take a look at their site real quick. They call it Crystal Voice, their technology with their microphones. We covered that. You've got your control panel here. Uh, scout mode is supposed to allow you to hear individuals coming towards you uh, if you're in game and playing a first person shooter. Uh, certainly they're demonstrating it here with laptops which I think would probably be its best application if you have an internal sound card. At the end of the day you know I've got a new geek rating system which is really a one to five and where I would rate this is it is geek certifiable meaning it is good enough that if you need something like this this is a great contender at 79 bucks you can hunt around and get it for much cheaper uh, on eBay especially if you're going for used you're probably going to be somewhere in the fifty dollar market which is not a bad price for this device considering all the features that it has uh, so 
Geek certified. You can go get it if it's something you need, especially if you're running sound card. Otherwise, your internal sound card is probably going to do you just fine if you're running off a desktop machine. Uh, let me know if you've checked out similar external devices to this, if you have any comments or different experiences with this device or thought of a solution I haven't used it for. I've been using it for about three weeks because I wanted to make sure uh, I gave it a really good try, but um, probably won't be keeping it permanently just because it's not something that I need. If I needed it for my laptop, though, I probably would keep this, uh, so that's why I at least give it three out of five uh, on the geek rating. So. And next time, we will be reviewing some more geek toys, some more awesome things. I've got a new video card coming that I can't wait to show you how to install. So go ahead and hit subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Until next time.